This is a Coleman 4-in-1 portable grill. And I'm just going to run through this really quick, and we'll kind of do an initial overall, like, kind of unboxing review type of thing with this grill. And when initially was looking at purchasing a small grill to go into our RV camper, something that was real versatile, basically they were all kind of one-trick ponies. And we were cruising through Walmart, and we found this thing. It says it has a griddle, a stove, a grill, and a wok. So we were thinking this fits multiple applications. So I'm going to be real honest here. I just grabbed this thing off the shelf. And then after I started doing some research, everyone was like, you know, you could find them a little bit cheaper here, maybe like on Amazon, Walmart, whatever it is. So do your research. Um, I'm not really going to take this thing back and try to save five or 10 bucks because I'll spend more in time than what that's worth. So really quick, let's bust this thing open and let's check out the Coleman 401 grill. And we'll see how this thing fits our needs for our little camper trailer for a grill. So we got an instruction booklet. We definitely don't need that. And of course, we've got all the styrofoam to go with it. All right. So it looks like everything kind of comes self-contained. That is definitely a good thing when I am thinking about packing everything away in our camper trailer because I'm not an RV guy and I'm very much on the learning curve here. So here is the grill lid slash walk, I'm assuming. And got a couple of zip ties holding it looks like this is for the gas burner. And so it looks like one side is the grill. Actually, it looks like it's kind of nonstick. That's cool. And the other side looks like it's the grill. Then packed away down inside. It looks like we have the rack for the stove. We have a couple of handles for the lid, and we have the legs. And we have a label on the burner that says, please remove tape. So we're gonna remove the tape. So the handle for the lid attached with a couple of screws and some hex nuts. And it looks like the legs just screw onto the bottom. like so. And the propane connection just screws on under the gas control. And it actually does have a pretty decent gas control. Built in igniter. That's cool. And what I really liked about this is the fact that everything should, should pack away inside of this. Now, that has yet to be seen, but we're gonna try it. So that should be fairly compact inside of the RV camper. So we'll get this thing put together and we'll check it out and see how it cooks. All right, so I've got the little four-in-one camp grill all set up out here on the camp table and I've just kind of assembled everything. The lid was pretty simple to assemble. It just has one spacer, one washer, and one acre nut. So it goes together really simple. And I went ahead and put the pan holder or the pan tray, I guess you could call it, on top. And then the griddle slash grill just slips onto these ears, sits right there. And I went ahead and just threw a Flame King bottle on there. And so it does have a self ignite. So I thought what we would do is just go ahead and light this. And what I'll do is set it to its lowest setting because it seems like all the propane grills that are camp really have a hard time going to a low setting. And instead of just, you know, getting extremely hot and scorching everything, 
So I thought we'd check out the uh, self ignite, go ahead and set it to the slowest setting. And then we'll check the temperature over just a few seconds, see how quick it heats up. And that'll kind of give us an idea of efficiency. And again, this isn't going to be anything like super scientific because obviously ambient temperature, wind, being outdoors, everything's going to change it. I thought it'd give us a good idea of how this little small grill is going to heat up and we'll check it out real quick. All right, so that's down to about its lowest setting. So just barely hear the uh, flame going. And I don't know if you can see that. We are already up to about 132, 143, 147, 143. Try to keep it right in the middle of that griddle. And we obviously want to keep this as real time as possible. I'm just really curious how we can keep a consistent low temperature on this. So as the temperature's climbed, it's slowed down as far as its rate of increase in temperature, but it's still a fairly steady state. So I thought we'd get this up to about, I'm thinking about 350, 375, something like that. Kind of just a ballpark what would be getting into a normal cooking range. My thought was a temperature like that should be fairly well to sear burgers, a steak or two, something simple like that. And it does have a water tray down the bottom of this to catch any sort of grease or dripping so that it doesn't stick down in the bottom. And I didn't fill that up just for the sake of keeping this simple. But I really don't think that would change the temperature or the rate of increase in temperature. And obviously you could crank this thing up if you wanted to, but again, camp stoves to me have always, the challenge has always been really keeping at a low steady temperature. So there's three, 380. I'll put a link down to this little Coleman 401 camp stove down below if you're interested in it and appreciate you watching. Please do me a favor, if any of this information helps you out, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell notification, and as always, we'll see you outdoors.